Hi, this is lesson number five, I guess. I want to talk about UART RF transmission for the Arduino. This is the model I have here. Uh, I bought this one on eBay. Bought it from 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 Canton Electronics and the cost uh, for two models because we need of course two it is not uh, useful to use one of them because we want to transmit and to receive so the cost is about uh, 18 dollars what we basically need to know is that uh, we can work with these models uh, quite easy i hope i will try to run it and we can do many projects like a uh, remote control cars and transmit data between two arduinos and to do many many things that we want to control from distance and uh, the advantage is that the uart is the protocol is closed so it should be quite easy to use them what is uh, the most important when we are buying such a model is of course to look about the voltage to look about the transmission power which is equal to the distance that we can use it and the seller does say that it will transmit up to 400 meters in open space and the speed the speed is also important because not all the model can transmit at high speed if we need it. For example, this one can transmit, I see, up to uh, 115,200 baud rate, which is quite good. Uh, which is quite good. Uh, okay, we will talk later about what is the meaning of the speed. The speed, for example, if you want to transmit, let's say, a picture. So, of course, we need higher speed because this will define the frame rate and the pictures at the size and how many pixels we can uh, transmit. But I will try to use it very basic in order to see that I can communicate between two Arduino boards. I will use the Nano and the Uno and we will try to work with it and see how it is going. Okay. Okay. So actually what I did was taking the code from the link where I bought this model. There is a simple code here just copied it and paste it to my program and what I decided to do is to build a receiver and a transmitter but of course this model is is a RX and TX so it is transceiver it can transmit and receive at the same time so I took this code and uh, for the nano and connected it very simple let me show i hope it can be seen good in the camera okay so what i did here is this i took this model and connected of course the power the vdd to 3.3 volts i have on the nano board ground is the case of the usb and I have here TX and RX, which are pins number, number, I think, uh, 0 and 1. And what we have to know is that basically RX from here is connected to TX in the model. This is the thing that we must remember and the TX to the RX. It also depends what is the definition of the board that we are using, but 
usually it have to be rx to tx and tx to rx on the uno board i did the same i took the uno board that i have and took from it uh, the 3.3 volt and the gnd to this module directly there is also a pin name cmd which i'm not using no need to use it and also i took here pin number 10 and 12 as rx and tx the reason for this is that this module has one uh, only one serial port and the one serial port is already used to connect to the computer so if i want to use another serial so the message is to use the software serial library this enable us to make any pin available for the UART as serial software okay so let's go a little over the UNO code so again I took the code I wrote how to connect it and then what I'm doing here is uh, printing a uh, hello I'm Arduino like they wrote here I copy it exactly as it was done here okay you can see same line the model by default is at uh, 9600 power rate so I configure it to the same baud rate later what I did is every second I uh, transmitted a number that is going up there is a definition of integer num which later as the loop continue the num is increased by one every cycle so I have I am just transmitting this number out ok now on the UNO side, which is the receiver, took the same code basically, but as I said, used a software serial. The software serial is connected to the RF module. I defined software serial what, what pin is the RX and what is the TX. These are the pins that I am using here on this model, 10 and 11 and connected uh, and then when I'm receiving a message when I'm re receiving a message I can receive it here so I just print it out to a uh, to my COM port printing it out so let's now try to run it and see how this is working okay so what I'm going to do now is running this board which is connected through USB and I can use the COM port on the computer on, on the nano board which is the transmitter I will use a power from a power bank named Vincent Tulip which is a very good power bank that I'm using which means when I connect it, it is starting to transmit the number that we have seen. So what I will do now, I will run the serial monitor, which is listening now. And as you can see, this is not connected to anything. And when I will power it up, it will start to send in to the screen the numbers one by one as we can see here okay I will put it in the other side of my room okay and we can see that it is working fine also I was pretty amazed I go out today and try to see if this model can really reach the distance of 400 meters and it is quite amazing that I was 
going about 300 meters from my car and then I was out of view because I had to go uh, with not seeing the transmitter and it worked till 300 meters with no sight of you so I believe that it can be even maybe more than 400 meters and uh, I can say that this model uh, is very good and I recommend to use it thank you very much bye